Next up, we've got Larry McDevitt, who, um, I don't know if this is an impressive, <laughs> well, no, Larry is our county supervisor, and he has not one, not two, but three opponents this year. <laughs> so I'm going to let you, I'm going to let Larry just tell you a little bit about what his plans for the future of Jackson County are. Okay, thank you. Here, you, hold it. you can put it on your head if you want. There you go. Now can you hear me? Good. Yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Larry McDevitt. I've uh, lived in Jackson County most of my life. I was born across the border uh, down by Sugar Creek many, many years ago. But um, about four years ago, a friend of mine was, and I were having coffee together, another contractor, and that's what I do as a general contractor. I do stonework, uh, custom woodworking. Um, Makoga Design is one of my projects. Uh, the Decker House front, the woodwork stuff, I've done that. I also have seven McDonald's restaurants I do work for in three states in this area. But my friend says, you know, they're doing some work at the courthouse with the Penrose house, and the, things were not going well. It was just not working well, and, and Dave tells me, he says, you know, you should, and Steve Lim is gonna retire, and he says, you'd be good at that job. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I never ever thought about doing anything like this. So I went and talked, and I ran into Buck Hoos at the office, and. And he kind of gave me the rundown, and I says, okay, I think I'm interested. And so I ran, and I won. And I'm so excited about what I do now. It's interesting. Uh, one of my other boards I'm on is the Conservation Board, and we were deeded uh, Bob Martin's farm, 273 acres. Yay. And we've been able to build a shelter on that with the Friends Group. Uh, we put a blacktop uh, driveway down a two-acre lake and several parking lots. And just this last, this spring, we're, we have a phase two. We want to do like 50 full hookup campsites from RVs and travel trailers and 25 tent camping things and build uh, four cabins, almost like a treehouse type thing, out over the bluffs. And I ran into uh, Northland Securities in Des Moines when we were doing our schooling. He says, so can we just borrow this money from somewhere to build it? And he says, yeah, there's a couple programs. So I started working with him, and he came and met with our auditor and um, uh, Daryl Parker, our executive director. And we kind of laid out what we wanted to do, and he said, well, that sounds good. You need to get some drawings, and we had them already from the Iowa uh, school. College did some preliminary drawings for us, so. And he says, do you want to start next year? And we both kind of look, yes. So next year, and we're going through it now, and we'll have this set up. And the park that we've done so far, we put 18 parking spaces in, and that wasn't enough, so we put another 18 in about two months ago. And the fishing pond. And as great as all this is for everybody that lives here, it also brings people in. The campsites we see as a great uh, money maker, really. It'll bring in about 170,000 a year, which will pay for itself. And we're doing all of this with no tax dollars. Yay! It's just great to see the geese flying through. It's just making a lot of noise. Uh, anyway, this is my first term, and I, I just enjoy what I'm doing, and I hope I can get another four years to continue on and, and make things come together for our county. And I'm asking for your support, so thank you. Yay!